So tell me a little bit about your current career. So uh, my job currently is a nurse practitioner at Akron Children's Hospital. Um, I have worked there in that role for nine years, um, but I've worked at Akron Children's as, uh, for 15 years total. What experiences or specific people helped you decide that you wanted to choose this career? So I always knew I wanted to be in the medical field. Ever since I was real young, I really had an interest in science and the human body. Um, and I really thought I wanted to be a doctor. Um, when I was in middle school, I had a family member who had cancer who told me I wanted to be a nurse. He basically said when he was in the hospital and very sick with cancer, he said that nurses inspired him to live. They gave him that courage um, to and motivation to keep moving with his life, to keep going, to be strong. And I thought, man, why would I ever want to be a doctor if I could be a nurse and inspire people to live? So that's really my biggest um, reason why I became a nurse practitioner. When did you realize that you had found the career path that you wanted to follow? When I knew I wanted to be a pediatric nurse was really the first time I walked through Akron Children's Doors. Um, as a college student, we had to do a pediatric experience, nursing experience, and you just kind of uh, had a tour of the hospital, you learned about the hospital, and as soon as I walked through the doors it really felt like home and I knew that as long as I lived in Akron that's where I wanted to work. So what do you find most rewarding about your career? What keeps you coming back every day? The most rewarding part is being able to help people. So my specific role is uh, adolescent medicine and so it's basically age of 10 or or 11 until the age of 25. But when I first got my job as a, as a nurse tech at Akron Children's Hospital, that was just the floor they assigned me to. And I was only 19 myself, so I thought, oh my gosh, I'm 19, I'm gonna be taking care of teenagers, how scary is that? But it just kind of kept me in that adolescent mindset, like how to talk to teenagers, how to be like teenagers, how to get them to believe the things you're talking about. And I thought that, that was always a good skill to have. A lot of people go into pediatrics wanting to work with babies or toddlers, um, but I really like teens because I think they have a lot to offer. If you could go back in time and give your middle school self some advice, what would it be? That is a really tough question, I feel like. My middle school self was so lost and confused. I just want those middle schoolers, like I talk to every day, to know that you're okay and normal. You will get through this, and that adolescence is the biggest change in your life since infancy. So when you think about it, when you're a newborn baby, and you're firstborn, that first year of life, you're learning how to do everything. Breathe, walk, talk, eat, sleep, all that good stuff. Well, as a teenager, you basically go from a little kid to an adult in the matter of a couple years, and your brain is growing and developing, your body's growing and developing, and and there's a lot of things that can get confused in there. And so I just wish that I knew as a teenager that it would just all be okay. There are lots of things that happen in life and you'll get through them, but they'll help shape you as an adult. So as long as you have a good support system or just one good support person that you can rely on, they'll help you get through it and then you can um, move on with your life.